Today on Zero to Awesome, we have this really fine knotty pine headliner that we installed in a prior episode, but we also have these really dingy sun visors that don't really match how nice the interior is shaping up to be. So today, if you have dingy headliners like this, we're going to show you how to recover them in something much more festive and appropriate for your vehicle. Okay, and so the first step in recovering your sun visor is to go ahead and take apart your old sun visor. So on this one, you can see there's stitching all around the side of it on both sides. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right down the middle here and cut all that stitching apart. So we're just gonna take our favorite reciprocating saw and actually that, that might be a little overkill. Um, so we're going to take something with a little a little less power, like our favorite zombie knife, and just kind of stick it in there and actually probably need to save this for a zombie attack. So we're going to take our favorite machete and just kind of... Actually, this, this works kind of well. Yeah, we're just going to go with the machete. I was totally planning on like really using a utility knife, but I kind of like this. There we go. So, this is the inside of our sun visor. It turns out it's just hardboard stapled to some metal. It's quality. And then we have this gross decaying fabric material. So we're gonna, but well, we're just gonna touch it and it's just gonna fall apart for us. This is really gross. God, I might need a respirator for this. <laughs> Alright, and then you just uh, you just feed this to your dogs. Don't really do that. It doesn't taste good. I tried it. And then we need to go find our fabric that we got to cover this in. So this is the fabric that I've chosen with without Alan's input to cover our sun visors in. So hope you like it, Alan. Uh, it's a nice camping theme. We've got uh, some, some tents. We've got my phone going off, uh, campfire, bears, cows that look funny. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and cut a piece of this that is, well, twice the size of our visor so we can use this. We're gonna use 3M high strength 90 to Spray on the sun visor, spray on the back of the fabric, and then we'll slap the two together. And then we'll get into how to finish this off. We're gonna, we're gonna need a little, little help from the Zero to Awesome sewing department. And then since Nissan had some tape in here, we're gonna go ahead and add some tape too, because why not? So we're gonna be using duct tape. Okay, so now we can put our sun visor unit back in our 
sun visor because that's the way that works. And that is looking pretty good, except now to, to seal it up all around the edges, we, uh, we're we gonna need some help. We're here for our appointment. Our appointment? We need help. <gasps> oh, that looks good. Yeah, right? So... You've already done it. Yeah, I, I do things around here. So originally this was like, I think, sewn by a machine around the edges, and I'm guessing that your machine may not be big enough to do that. So yeah. how do you think we can sew this up? Do it by hand. So how do we do that? Is there a, uh, a certain type of stitch we use? A whip stitch. A whip stitch? How do you do that? Whip it. Then you whip it good. Oh. I'll lay here. If we're getting apart, all right? This doesn't look like a whip stitch at all. What? Hold on, I'll be right back. No. There we go. No. Now it's a whip stitch. Gross. Okay, we're using chip clips, uh, advanced sewing method right here, I'm sure. And you take this clippy clip and you clip it. Is all this clipping really necessary? Those are hair things. And you clip it. It's <laughs> not appropriate. And you clip it. Let me clip it with this one too, right? No, 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 no. Okay. This we looks... spend the next 20 minutes trying to find the holes that you cut up. Why did I decide to do this? This is hard. <laughs> We've made one of a hundred stitches. Is that all one? Yeah. Oh, one? there we go. Found the hole. Two. Well, no, this is only our first complete stitch. The first one was a half stitch. One and a half. Okay, so one stitch, and then we're just going to keep doing that over and over again because it was really fun and try and find our old holes and then go through all of them. You know what, it's not through the hole, but it's close enough. Two. I mean, how thick would you say that is? Two threads. All right, so we have decided to abandon the whip stitch, not because it won't work, because it would, but because it's gonna take forever. So we're just gonna take this and probably just, where's a dog? Murphy. We need you to eat this. Ew, why? <laughs>got our sun visors recovered now they're looking good and it is time to install them only problem is whoever put in this really nice wood ceiling covered up the holes where they go so I'm gonna grab a drill and just start drilling and see if we can find where they go Okay, so our sun visors are all up and in here now. I even took the time to put these little sun visor stop things back in. 
And now when I was covering these, I took an extra amount of time to make sure they would come out exactly the same and they would both have the pattern facing upwards when you flip them down. And I don't, I don't exactly know what happened here, but you know when we try on this channel, things just, they don't go right. So I'm just gonna stop trying from now on. Uh, but I also did take the time to put this, uh, this is just automotive edge trim up here to kind of finish off the wood. So that's still looking good. We do still need to make our control center up here. We're gonna have stuff for our off-road lights and our winches and all sorts of stuff. So if you wanna see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also something that you might wanna see. So I still have fabric left over and I think I have enough to potentially do the door inserts on all four doors. So if you wanna see our doors get classy, maybe leave a comment and if we get enough people who wanna see it happen, we'll do it. So until next time, it's, it's getting a little bright out here. So I'm just gonna hop in here and see you later. Does anyone actually eat Cool Whip like ice cream? <laughs> Seems a little weird. It's facing upward this direction. Y'all like how it looks from out there? It's pretty nice, right? <laughs>